Now let's have a look at some more examples on nomenclature of aromatic compounds. So what would be the name of this compound? Obviously we are saying um, SCHO group uh, is does have a higher priority than nitro group so nitro would be considered as substituent here and CHO CHO would be the main functional group so this is first carbon second carbon third carbon so three nitro benzene carbaldehyde would be the name so three nitro benzene carbaldehyde or I can also write ortho meta para sorry ortho meta so this is meta nitro also related, related to the position of CHO okay let's take a look at this example I have BRCL and this thing here so obviously this is the main function group here and if we start numbering the carbon atoms from this carbon atom or in the anti-clockwise direction or in the clockwise direction I can find the substituent at the second position and if I do the numbering from anti-clockwise position I find the substituent at third position so I will start the numbering from clockwise direction only okay so this will be the first carbon this is the second carbon and so on okay so what would be the position of bromine obviously fifth position so five bromo chloro benzylide two chloro benzylide Okay. Now let's have a look at this compound. We have something like CO2H and NO2. So this would be three ethyl four nitro benzene carboxylic acid. Let's have a look at this compound. What would be the nomenclature of this compound? It would be nothing but okay. What is the main function group here? Main function group here is cyanide or nitrile. Okay, so what is what is the IPC name of this compound? It would be two bromo four hydroxy. Why hydrox is the prefix of OH group? Four hydroxy benzene nitrile. Okay. Now let's have a look at this compound. We have aniline here. This functional group is called aniline. This is called aniline. Okay. But and if we consider this as the main functional group, this will be called phenol. And you also know that the order of preference of OH function group is greater than NH2. So which would be which would we be using? Aniline or phenol? Obviously phenol would be used as the suffix okay so the name would be C 
simple uh, two amino and now amino would be used as a prefix two amino phenol okay now let's have a look at this example this is simple right one chlorotoluene this functional group's name is toluene okay now let's have a look at this compound we have br br at opposite positions and one alkyl group here so it's simple one four dibromo and in this case phenyl will not be used toluene uh, sorry benzene name as the suffix would be used so one four dibromo two ethyl benzene why because this is having this is a simple alkane chain right so its its prefix would be used and these are directly attached or substituents to the benzene ring only so it would be used as substituents hence benzene as the suffix name will be used to an to to with help benzene okay now let's have a look at this example now in this case two phenol groups or two oh oh groups are attached so in this case we won't be using uh, phenyl as the prefix or hydroxy as the prefix we, use, we would be using rather a mixed nomenclature and this compound would be called benzene 1 2 diol okay so this is a uh, important case to be remembered similarly for this I would be using benzene 1 3 diol for a diametrically opposite positions we would be using benzene 1 4 diol okay similarly on the same criteria if we have something like this then we would be using benzene 1 2 dicarboxylic acid whenever on a benzene ring two similar function groups are attached then we won't be using any prefix of either phenyl or the functional group we would directly be using a suffix of this aromatic compound which is called benzene and similarly the suffix of the the two similar function groups right so i hope you remember this exceptional case this question are very commonly asked because this constitutes a important case or exceptional case so questions of this form are more likely to be asked in J level examinations benzene 1 3 dicarboxylic acid again okay This would be called benzene one for dicarboxylic acid. Okay. And let's look at the last example. What would this be called? Just pause the video and just roll it over in your mind. Yeah. So this would be called benzene one to dicarboldehyde. okay so this is also called thalic acid just for you guys to remember the common name 
okay so we'll be discussing uh, general organic chemistry from the next video tutorials so this completes our nomenclature part so I hope you enjoyed the nomenclature video lectures so this brings us to the end of nomenclature chapter okay so from next video I will be starting off with new chapter called general organic chemistry so good luck and goodbye till then